This is Deion Evans, Athletic Director, Madison Park Academy, here with the news for sports. I first want to start out with uh, a quick prepared uh, statement. Uh, I wanted to be very kind in how I said what I say, and um, I wanted to stress particular points. So here it is. Uh, I want to appreciate you advisory teachers, those of you who have taken the time, thought it not robbery, to uh, to display before the student population, rather they're student athletes or students, the videos and the newsletter that we put out every Wednesday. Uh, especially those of you middle school, uh, who are middle school, because we've had so many middle school uh, parents uh, confused about uh, information regarding the athletic department because their student has not been receiving uh, the proper information. Those of you who are in high school, those of you in advisory in high school, I really appreciate you because it allows our student athletes to be engaged and to move through the processes more quickly. Um, however, the athletic department has decided to explore alternative measures uh, to greater sustainability and overall success. There are too many students that are not receiving the necessary information from the athletic department and the athletic department has information that really could go out daily. We choose to send information out in bulk two days a week, but literally um, we have enough information to put out a newsletter every single day. Uh, the athletic department works tirely to ensure proper information is transferred to students and parents in a timely manner and within shared space. But when shared space isn't shared, then there's a huge gap in communication that disturbs the overall positivity uh, for NPA families. And so we are right now experiencing uh, uh, several families who are a little frustrated because they don't understand why one student knows something and another student doesn't know something. And so I'm getting a lot of those communications and I'm trying to put out all of those fires because I believe that uh, during this time, communication is kind of hard to get us all together because everybody has a specific amount of communication they need to get out. And sometimes what you got to get out is more important than what somebody else has to get out or at least it appears to be like that. And, uh, but the truth is all communication to our students, regardless of which department it comes from, if it needs to get out, it needs to get out. However, with the athletic department, we have not been fortunate to have that type of manifestation. So going forward, the athletic department will not rely on advisory. We're not gonna put uh, so much uh, focus on advisory getting out our information. Uh, we're going to continue to partner with advisory teachers who are willing to partner uh, because working together works. But the truth of the matter is the information that we have with the athletic department needs to flow. It needs to be smooth. And we work way too hard as a department for information to show up to students a week late. And so, or not at all. And so with that being said, the athletic department will explore other ideas, other avenues for sustainability so that we can ensure that what we are communicating is properly communicated on time so that students and parents will be able to make decisions more adequately and um, it, it should just be a better uh, operation. And that's what it's about. Everything needs to run smooth. I understand we're in a, we're in a, we're in an era where smooth is not uh, always going to be the case, but the, the areas where we can make smooth, we have to make smooth. And the athletic department has decided to go ahead and make the things smoother where we can make it smoother. And so I wanna appreciate, again, I wanna appreciate those of you who are advisory teachers who thought it not robbery to, um, to provide the videos, to make sure the students knew how to log into the e-newsletter and get the signups and things of that nature. Um, however, uh, we, we have to find a better system and we're working on that. So, so that's my opening statement for today. I want to go to happy birthdays. I want to say happy birthday today, Wednesday, Sophia Gonzalez of the Girls Varsity Soccer Program. Today is her birthday. So happy birthday to Sophia Gonzalez. And then we have on Sunday, Kevin Brooks. Kevin Brooks is a member of the boys basketball team. Happy birthday to you, Kevin. And then we have on Labor Day, there's no school that day, but there is a birthday to celebrate London Edwards. London is the most decorated young female track and field athlete. She holds every sprint record but the 400 and uh, phenomenal volleyball player. Also, her birthday is on Labor Day Monday. And so happy, happy birthday from our family to you. We wish it was our birthday so we can party too. You guys know we do that.
So continue the tradition. All right. Uh, Trojan News. Trojan News has been released on Wednesday. However, let me show you something here. Now on the launch page, you can go to the launch page. Let's say, let's say you don't know how to get into your Jupiter Ed yet. You're still having issues with Jupiter Ed. You can now go to the launch page, bit.ly slash MPA student. You can now go there, click that button, click that button, and you will find the sports announcements icon. You can click there and the e's new letter, the e-newsletter will be right there for you to read and keep up. Opening article this week is on fundraising. You do not want to miss that article. I'll share a little bit more. Um, social media, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, MPA Trojan Sports, sitting right here. Go ahead and identify yourself as an MPA student. Remember on the Twitter, we're going to be asking questions on the Twitter uh, social media. And if you answer those questions right, you're going to win raffle ticket. And if you retweet the tweet, then you're going to get 10 raffle tickets and then people will be able to win uh, prizes uh, each week. Next week, we will announce our first raffle prize winner. Um, Athletic department fundraiser, we are doing a face mask fundraiser. And so if you would like a face mask, you can contact myself or contact the assistant athletic director, uh, Ms. Chelsea Slater, uh, and you can get your face mask, $10 for the face mask. Uh, on tonight, which it's Wednesday, tonight at 7 p.m., all student athletes and all parents of student athletes and all parents or students who are interested in being a part of the athletic department, log on to our virtual meeting tonight, where at 7 p.m. I will hold a one hour meeting with players and parents regarding the athletic department. So if you have a question or concern, uh, you have some more information you need to have, uh, this is a great time. I will be giving out more information for everyone to get in real time. And so tonight at 7 p.m., Go ahead and join us on Zoom. If you want to know the meeting, uh, the meeting ID and the meeting password, it is in the e-newsletter. So go to the e-newsletter, scroll down about uh, half a page, and you should be able to see the big old Zoom symbol with the ID and the password. Log in at 7 o'clock. Typically, I sign in 10 minutes before the meeting, and then we're able to have a wonderful meeting. Last week was an amazing meeting. It was better than I expected it to be. And um, we were able to transfer a lot of information and we were able to receive a lot of information back, such as why we had to make some decisions this week as to how to proceed forward with communications. I want to thank those of you who gave me that information. Uh, again, signups, uh, sports signups are still going on and will continue to go on. But if you want to reserve your spot, you need to go ahead and sign up as soon as possible. Now, in the past, we used GroupMe as a place where we brought all the students. We have advanced GroupMe and started with what we call the Band app, the Band app. Now, you don't have to go to the Band app. All you have to do is go to your Jupyter Ed, click the newsletter, or you can go to the launch page and click the MPA sports page. And on the right side of the newsletter, you will see all the sports for fall, winter, and spring, all listed middle school and high school. Simply click, say, I want to join the team and the head coach or myself, the athletic director, we will have you registered and signed up. And then the head coach will be able to give you information in real time as, as it relates to the next steps. Uh, we will be launching. Now, listen real close. We're going to be doing something this year at Madison Park Academy that we have never done. And I'm really excited about it. I've had huge results with it out on the peninsula. However, it has to happen here for Madison Park. We are going to seek to raise in 35 days. We're going to do a 35-day campaign. And in 35 days, using E-Team Sponsors, E-team sponsors, in 35 days, we are going to seek to do an email campaign to raise $50,000 for the overall athletic department. Now, understand, if we raise, I shouldn't say if, when, let's think more positively, when we raise $50,000 in 35 days, this would allow every single sports team, JV, varsity, boys and girls, to have access to about $1,800 each. $1,800 each to deal with uh, training camps, uh, training materials, uh, travel items, things of that nature. And so this money is necessary. 
we have been operating a, an amazing athletic department, very, very little funding. And so a lot of our coaches have come out of their pockets. I have given entire stipend checks back to support the sports program. And though that's noble for what we're doing, it isn't fair. And so we need to go ahead and use our collective efforts in raising $50,000. We're going to do it in 35 days. At another school, I raised $12,000 in five days. So I know if I could do that in one sport somewhere else, surely with all the sports, we have 27 sports at Madison Park. And so basically what we're looking at is every student athlete to raise $150 each. And if every roster spot in our 27 sports does that, we're going to have, we're going to reach our goal and we're going to reach our goal quickly. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. And so you can read more about that in the e-newsletter, Trojan Sports. Um, it is the opening article that I wrote. Uh, what else do I have to give you today? Um, the Achieve Team after school program. So I understand in last week that there was the English link that had been um, not proper. And those of you who were trying to register for the after school program so that you could be a part of the middle school sports program, I understand that that link didn't work to your liking. And then I clicked it and realized it wasn't working at all, realized what had happened. So what I've done is I've regathered that link and I've reposted it in your Jupiter Ed email. So in the Jupiter Ed email that you received from me this morning on Wednesday, September 2nd, in that email, there's a new link. You click that link and now you can either click for the Spanish version or the English version. You can complete your application. That application will go to Ms. Marshall and the BACR Achieve Team After School Program. And once you have locked in with the application and you have submitted the uh, liability form, once you've submitted those two forms, you are now officially locked in to play middle school sports at Madison Park Academy. I'm excited about it. And I see many of you who I've had to give tutorials off to the side, many of your parents who have called and asked questions. And so we're seeing the uptick in our band app of new students who are playing sports. I'm excited about it. Let me tell you, COVID may slow down a lot, but it won't stop anything. We're going to be all right. You can believe that. We're going to be all right. And so I want to give one shout out to Mr. Langer. Mr. Langer um, is the one who takes care of the homepage. He's the one that makes this possible. He's the one that makes our newsletter go to the homepage possible. And there are some things that he's doing on the homepage to ensure videos like this get to be directly placed on the homepage. You can even click those there. So I'm excited about a lot of stuff. And there's a lot of things to be excited about. So again, thank you for watching. Pay attention. Check out Twitter because there's going to be some questions about this video on Twitter. If you answer them right, you get a raffle ticket. If you retweet it, you get 10 raffle tickets. Next Wednesday, somebody is going to win something. All right, you guys. God bless you.